Who are you? Who are my people? And we have to talk about something. Because them say a little man, them say Andrew Owen is young and bright and finally make the first speech and take off the bright and say young. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to her. No, I'm gonna tell the truth. Everybody know I talk the truth. I'm gonna care who vex. Bright like who? And you want us bright like who? Alright, since it's young people time then. I want them to fill them four under fifty and come debate over two under fifty because they can't manage our food. Education improve. Now let me explain something to you. The last results that come out for the literacy test, it happened that the public schools had 65% literacy. Nobody not talk about that. Because the government is directly responsible for public schools. So you can't use where private schools, 60,000 a term, bring up the average and claim same doing well. But if you are in charge of a system, that 35% can't read and write. You should have shame. And him in a tie. And to them, you see him in a newspaper, he pick me a skip. Well, you need to start out the education system and stop telling lies. Now, well, I'm not going to make the time finish. I'll be doing the time. No. No. What I am disgruntled about. And what I'm upset about is that he himself knows that the education system is not sufficient. And I know he knows because his children don't go to public school. I'm here targeting coming up here who are next. If you are to support make your picnic go to the same school that we are going to. And that we are suffering on. Then when you go for YouTube. No, I see Andrew is blaming the teachers for a systematic problem. In blaming the principals for a systematic problem. Let me tell you what the problem is with education. Poverty is a problem with education. The fact of the matter is that you have some schools that I hear him term failed schools, and to this point I don't hear him solution. If him have all these solutions that him claim, tell us of. Make us see where you have to put on the table. Because he was in parliament and he was in cabinet and I don't see the answer and I don't see the media any solution. And you can't say Bruce don't take solution because he took PMP while your solution. Because when he talks, we teach him how to tax. So if Anjali have a suggestion, he could have made it. And the last time I said, look like Anjali won't get out Bruce himself. <laughs> because I've been walking from 9 o'clock this morning. I have to walk a lot because I'm John Galloway, but they have LSWMA money, and she's working with it down in the constituency. I don't know when she's going to resign. 
you know. But I don't, I'm not calling for her resignation. Because people can see immorality when immorality exists. So I am now fighting a people war. I'm going to walk and talk and meet the people. And she can go and chop bush. But I'm saying that chop bush is not enough. We want to do horticulture. We want to do landscaping. We're not going back that way. But the problem with education is that there's some schools that they expect the children to fail. There's some schools that the class is overcrowded. There's some schools that the students don't have no book. And when they teach mathematics and say the area of a square is pi or of a circle is pi or square and say yo, you can't keep the pi and the, the R and the square, I want a piece of the pie. If though it's nothing for money. And then the minister wants to blame teachers for that reality. So I want you to come and tell me how much school you built to say that you are doing well. I want to come and tell me how much more people pass in CXC to say that you are doing well. I want you to come and tell me how much people pass GSAP because you met some people couldn't even take GSAP. Say them have A-step. And you not talk to all the shots are A-step minister because I can't take I-left.